Hi, this is Jenny Pennebecker, Liaison Librarian for Human Nutrition, Foods, and Exercise. And what we're going to look at in this video is an example of going through the process of finding an article, identifying it as a research article, and making sure it meets other guidelines for uh, the assignment for HNFE 2014. So we'll start at the University Libraries webpage, and we'll come down under Library Quick Links and go to Subject Guides, enter HNFE 2014, and go to the course guide here. So you'll see this Getting Started page has some tips like the off-campus sign-in. So you want to make sure that you are signed in if you're off campus. And we'll go here to the designing a keyword search and use the example we've been using. So I'm going to copy this keyword search here. I'll come to the selecting a database tab. So of course you'll have a different research topic. You'll need to create a keyword strategy that you want to use. But once you've got that ready, you can go to any of these databases. If we go to PubMed, it might just take a second here. I'll be able to paste that search strategy right in here and we'll see what we get. So with this strategy, we got 18 results. That's okay, but not um, super big group to choose from. So I think I'm going to come back here and get our expanded search with the different synonyms in it. So I'll copy that and I'll go back to the PubMed search page and paste that in. And this time we should get more results because we use those synonym groups. Yep, so here we have 76 results this time instead of 18. And you'll see that the default is to search by most recent. I'm going to change it to relevance. And um, if you like, you can always change the summary up here to abstract to see a little bit more about each article. Um, or you can leave it as uh, the summary so that you just have the title and author. So before we look through these, I'm going to go ahead and limit this to the latest five years. That'll give us um, some recent things to look at. So we have 14 items here. I'm going to make sure that these are all about humans. You'll see that limit over there on the left. And in this case, this top one looks pretty good. Um, it, this is a randomized clinical trial. It is a little specific um, about, let's see, if we come down here, um, it looks like they're all looking at children and sleep and melatonin and other options as well, but there's this one, Current Role in Melatonin in Pediatric Neurology, Clinical Recommendations, that might be good. And, okay, so I think what we'll do for this example is look at this article here, um, Controlled Release Melatonin for Persistent Insomnia in Children with Autism Spectrum Disorders, a Randomized Placebook Controlled Trial. So we can see this is a trial. We can tell by looking through the abstract that they um, studied a treatment and are presenting results of their research. So I can go to Get the Text. Okay, and so I can see the article came up here. I can get the full PDF over here and download that um, to have to read and turn in if I need to. And so here when we look through this we see there is an introduction. We can see the method, participants, measures, um, the trial design, 
intervention, and then their results, statistical analysis, um, and further information. Okay, so we've also got the references at the end. We're looking good, but um, before I go further, I want to make sure this is a peer-reviewed journal. So it's the Journal of Sleep Research from the library website. I'm going to go to the Ulrichs database for journals. And when I come into this database, I'm just going to type in the journal title, Journal of Sleep Research. And we can see that this one does have the refereed symbol. So this is a peer-reviewed journal. Okay, we need to also find a couple things in the references. So I see this one's from 2011, and it looks related. So I'm going to search for this one in the Summon search. So I just pasted the title, article title, into the Summon search, and I'm looking for that now. Okay, it's here. I'm going to see if I can get to the full text. And that came right up. And I also did check to see that um, this journal, European Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, is also a referee journal. Okay, the last thing I have to point out on the guide is the citation page, which has lots of places to get assistance in creating APA citation styles. So if you have any questions, let me know anytime. And my contact information is also on the guide here on the front page. Thanks.